have to admit, it's nice to be away from that musty old mansion. Hey, fellas? It's too bright, Bone Bank. This is disgusting, not a cloud in the sky. This fresh air is killing me. Again! This just in. Several alleged sightings of Bigfoot have been reported in the Friendship Forest. One man had this to say. Ah! Oh, ridiculous. Everyone knows there's no such thing as Bigfoot. Just like everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. Well, I, uh, well that's, uh, different, you know, because, uh... Hey! Isn't that fresh air bracing? You want bracing? Brace yourself for this. Smell it, Graham! That kind of behavior is exactly what brought us to this juncture in our therapy. It is my opinion, copyrighted by someone else, if we bond as guys and survive on our own in the wilderness, you will gain self-esteem and therefore stop haunting. Have I made myself clear? Clear as mud! <laughs> Running away from the problem is never the solution. Although, chasing after a problem is often the only solution. Hey, guys! Wait up! Come on, fellas! Stop! If this fleshy mobile hadn't run out of fuel, we'd be haunting our own home by now. But I gotta admit, spookifying that gas station flesh sack was high octane entertainment. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is what? This is nothing. This is nada. This is Nadia Komenichi. Nadia coming each? What is that? I was adding to the riff. You know, this is nothing, this is Nada, this is Nadia. You know, you are so stupid, you hurt my head. Well, this is where we'll be staying. Where's the party? Where's the fridge of food? Where the heck is Bobhead? Here I am. Sorry, you're not in this story. Huh? Okay, fine. Then why is the show called Casper? Merchandising. Yikes! Hey, Doc, what are we supposed to eat? Pine cones? I can't survive on pine cones. Look at me. I'm wasting away here. Food! Food! We want food! Fine. Since the first Neanderthal discovered fire, men have gained energy and pride each time one was lit. Which explains why most men take their barbecues so seriously. Neanderthals must have starved to death. Hey, hold the phone. I got an idea. What phone? Whack him for me, will you? Okay. <laughs> What's a guy got to do to get served in this bone bag joint? I feel powerful. I feel good. I am a man. I am so hungry. <laughs> hey, Doc. Huh? You want some lasagna? Trying is just as important as succeeding. Mm, pass me the garlic bread. I quit! Take cover! <laughs> oh, gee, and that's quite. I am so terrified. What if something was to fall on us? <laughs> you kill me, Doc. 
stretch? What? I don't think it's an earthquake. What else could it be, stink one? <laughs> Big was just an earthquake. Bigfoot is just folklore. Oh, like Peter, Paul, and Mary. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I see this as a breakthrough for you. You've gotten in touch with your fears. You've even named them. Which means you're ready to get in touch with a wild guy within. Um, within what? Within you. A secret person inside each and every guy. Oh. You mean this guy? <laughs> All right, Barty, Barty, Barty! <laughs> <laughs> you are obviously still in denial. Denial? That's in the Egypt. You are not taking credit for your problem. Hey, sorry, Doc. Ixnay on the credit, eh? We only take cash. You need to embrace the process. Group hug. <laughs> Ouch. We need to give your wild guy a little wake-up call. Watch this. Ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga chaka. Uh, <clears throat> that was rousing. Now you try. Ooga chaka. Ouch. Let's move on, shall we? So. To begin to liberate your wild guy, you must howl like the animals you are. Ah, oh, you mean like this? No, no, no. Like this. Got it? That had a sting. That had a tickle. I have a horrible feeling I left parts of my wild guy with the wolves. Don't worry, Doc. Watching you defend yourself against them wolves, well, we finally got the point of this here expedition. Really? Yeah. It's to laugh our tails off at you! <laughs> Guys, no stop! Wolves! Humans! Remember? Guess not. All right. Maybe there is something out there. But are we as guys gonna sit in here and wait for whatever it is to come and get us? No! Uh, all right, you. You. Whatever you are. I fully embrace your anger. It's time you owned up to it and came to terms with whatever it is you have issues with. I like you. You like me. We're a downright happy family with a great big... Oh, my gosh! <laughs> it's more hideous than I ever thought. It's horrifying. Happy. Oh! <laughs> Guys, please. Not again. Come on! Where'd everybody go? Accompanied by his faithful daughter, Cat, Dr. Harvey, noted paranormal psychotherapist, arrives at Whipstaff looking for ghosts to cure. His colleagues are not amused. At one afternoonish, we came through the town. 
At two, we found Whipstaff, ghost house of renown. At three, we unpacked my dad's ghost-seeking tools. By four, they said we were both ghost-seeking fools. At five, the sun set. A bit early, I felt. At six, the ghosts came. It was dinner they smelt. At seven came brewings and clanking of chains. By eight, all our experts were racking their brains. At nine, Dr. Ng found Ick slimed on the stairs. At ten, Dr. Templer was caught unawares. Eleven, the experts wished nighttime would pass. At twelve, the ghosts gave them some poltergeist jazz. At one in the morning, I yawned. It was late. At two, they left me and my dad to our fate. At three, my dad started the therapy session. At four, they resorted to passive aggression. At five, the sun rose. Would the ghosts go away? At six, they said, stop all our ghosting? No way! At seven, my dad told them, boys, it's your hour. By eight, he'd resisted their poltergeist power. At nine, I met Casper, a ghost and a friend. By ten, all the hauntings had come to an end. Eleven, I crashed. My dad tucked me in tight. And though it was twelve noon, Casper bid me good night. Nice toss, Cat. It was not too forceful, but it had the courage of your commitment. <laughs> Whatever. I got it! I got it! I don't got it. Man, sometimes being living in pair totally bites. Ta -da! Ta -da, how dare you play flying saucers with these flesh sacks instead of fetching our dinner? Hey, why don't you soft serve ice cream heads get your own dinner? Because that's Bob Head's job, and we don't have to. And we don't want to. And we, 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 we are the way home. Your stupidity is giving me a brain pain. Now hold on. It wouldn't hurt you fellas to gain some self-reliance and stop using Casper as a crutch. Gee, perhaps the bone bag's right. Maybe we should let Casper play. With us? Good thinking, stink. <laughs> Hey, Fenzo! Catch! Oh. Pardon me. Discharge! <laughs> but what about our dinner? What do you know? Mr. Portly over here has finally made a point. Yeah, and it's not the one on his head. Let's go find Baldhead. Oh, 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 I don't feel so well. Maybe I have an inner ear problem. No, wait. I don't have any ears. What? Forgive my stereotypical dialogue here, but what the? Scare oh, sounds! Scare sounds! Greetings. We heard your. Oh. And we took that to be a. How do you do, fellow ghosts? Come by our planet and scare things. Were we wrong? Ghost aliens? No way. Ghost aliens? No, no! Ghost aliens? No, no, Nanette. Ah, cork it. Who are you? I'm Chrono. I'm Logical. And I'm Order. What are you doing here? You see, our mission, should we choose to accept it, as if we had a choice, was to find a planet that was scared of ghosts so the mothership could take over that planet. And we could retire and get our frequent flyer miles. I hear that. Uh, here's the glitch. See, the people of Earth aren't scared of ghosts, so welcome to Earth, now go home. Oh, shucks. 
Yes, bummer. Well, if the people of Earth ever evolve into a species that is afraid of ghosts... Feel free to call down the mothership and scare the pants off humans. Yes. I just had a close encounter of the pointless kind. Hey, did you hear that? Maybe if we was to make nicey nice with the mothership, we could take over the world. Let's make the call. <laughs> la, la, la. You're off key, Papa Rotten. This is how the song goes. Hey, what do you make of that signal? It sounds good to me! Wow. What the? What the? Dad, I said that already. Take over the Earth, boys. <laughs> Welcome to the first day of the rest of our afterlives. La, la, la. La, la, la. Right. It's up to us, boys. This is the big one, huh, boss? Yep. One really big floating eyeball coming up. That looks silly. <laughs> we love you. The floating eyeball didn't work. These guys are unstoppable! Dad, do something! Yes, it, yes, it appears to be up to me. You are obviously in great need of counseling. Your insipid singing is a result of repressed anger and a relentless desire for acceptance. Hey, no! You want to play with puppets? <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. I can't take any more! Home! Get out of here! Leave me alone! Want to pretend we're barnyard animals that make silly sounds? Moo! Cluck, 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 boo. Boo. Ba, ba, boo. Can't take much more. Must do something. <laughs> That's, That's not, not nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything so horrible. I didn't know Bald Head had it in him. Uh, Roger, I found the plot point when the ghost aliens turn out to be dinosaurs just too predictable. Gene, I agree. And I got very tired of Dr. Harvey's useless psychobabble. Cat's incessant whining, and let's face it, the trio's characters were poorly drawn. Poorly drawn? <laughs> useless psychobabble? Incessant whining? <laughs> I was just having a little fun. I, I got rid of the aliens, didn't I? Maybe we're being just a little hasty, boys. Casper's good for some things, like... a game of Frisbee! <laughs> Aces! Uh, uh, 
Coming back at you, stinkaroo! Oh. <laughs> Cry, bald head! Cat's <laughs> got one mean arm. Huh? Hello, neighbor. Do you want to go to the land of make-believe? Mm-hmm. Or we could visit the eraser factory and find out how they put them in the backs of pencils. Mm-hmm. No! Some people aren't friendly. No, they're not. Oh, well, let's sing, okay, boys? La, la, la! La, la, la! La, 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 la,